Now, maintenance planner is a tool. Okay. As I told you, not each and every SAP system can be, ECC system can be converted into S4 HANA. There can be some technical bottlenecks. That technical bottlenecks can be checked with the tool maintenance planner. Maintenance planner is an online tool. Okay, which is available with uh, your basis team. Basis team use maintenance planner for the multiple different purposes. For the upgrades also they use maintenance planner. SAP has given a specific tile in maintenance planner which can help to upgrade from ECC to S4 HANA through conversion. So you would be able to do some pre-checks with the maintenance planner. What kind of pre-checks you would be able to do? Few pre-checks we have talked about uh, before. The same kind of things would be there. Technical version check. Technical version check. Whether you are you are moving from, if you are trying to move from R3, the maintenance planner said that, boss, this is not available from R3. You cannot go to S4 HANA with conversion. You want to go from ECC. What is the version of ECC? It should be minimum enhancement pack 6 or above. If you are below enhancement pack, system would be telling you the version that this version, you want to go ahead with the S4 HANA particular system. This version is not supported. If you are in enhancement pack 4 or enhancement pack 5, you should upgrade to the latest enhancement pack 7. Okay, then only you would be able to move it. So that version check it would be doing. Second, it would be checking the add-ons. Add-ons like we are having an add-on of uh, SRM. Add-on of CRM, add-on of MDG. So these add-ons can be there. This is your ECC system, same NetWeaver system, on the same gateway system. You also put it SRM. Or the other option can be there. This is your ECC. Your you can put a separate server for SRM or CRM, and it can get converted, connected. A lot of solutions are there from SAP which can work as a both separate server or add-on. So your CRM, SRM, MDG, these are the components which you can use as a separate server also, or you can just add on onto your existing thing also. There are some add-ons which will not be supported to move to S4 HANA. Okay, there are some add-ons. Uh, one of the another one is uh, uh, AFS Apparel and Footwear Solutions. So these add-ons would not be supported to move to S4 HANA. So if you have SRM here, system will say that this add-on is not supported in conversion. You need to remove this add-on. So first from ECC, you need to remove the add-on. You need to bring it to a separate SRM system. So once you have done that, then you would be able to convert your ECC into S4 HANA. Right? So that is the thing which would be checked then your business functions would be checked. Okay, then your business functions also would be checked. What are the business function? What are the business function? What do we understand with the business functions? Activation of functionality, right? With which T code we activated? SAP mill solutions, yes. So there would be a lot of business. Uh, I have a question in between. Does compatibility means availability of uh, components in future or uh, uh, something more. Actually, it is availability of the components in future. Availability of the components in future, which is SAP is going to replace them. Those availability. So you have a license in ECC. Your license in S4 HANA with the compatibility, uh, you need to check it that till what year it would be supported or till what year it would be available. So, a lot of things you, if you want to use in SAP, specifically if you want to use some additional businesses function, if you want to use MDG, if you want to use the mill functionality, industry specific solution. So there are particular business function which you need to go and you need to get them activated. Then only that business functionality would be working. So generally we use that, that is called business functions. Okay. That is called business function. I will again repeat. There are some particular, particular uh, functionalities, industry specific functionalities, which would be only be working if you activate that business function. So we use transaction SFW5 
for the activation of the business uh, function. So MDG related, if you want to use MDG as an add-on, you need to activate some business function. If you want to use the solution for the mill industry, you need to activate the business function. So those, those things which you need to activate separately, not from the SPRO, but from the SFW5, you need to activate the business function. Then that functionality would be working. Those are called business functions. So don't activate the business function. It's, it's, a, it's not a job of a, a functional consultant. It's a job of a basis team. I'm just showing you that how, how it happens. But don't get it activated on your own. Anything which is required, you need to come to us. We'll be asking a basis team and they will be activating it. So it is giving you a warning that this is a careful, this is a very restricted transaction. You should exit it. Or if you want to continue it, you can go ahead. So there would be some, uh, these kind of business function would be there. This is the enterprise business function. Now what happens that some business function would be already activated. Okay, some business function by default would be activated from, so you can see a S4 HANA always on functions. So these functions in S4 HANA by default, it is activated. In ECC, you need to activate it. But when you move to S4 HANA, by default, these functions would be activated. This is automated activated functions, business functions, right? The CRM related functions, your uh, 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 recipe related, uh, PLM related functions are automatically activated. And then there are the client functions which can be activated. And these are the lightweight and the another function which can be activated from the different different places. So when you would be searching on one of the thing that uh, you want to use some specific functionality. Okay, so let's say this is a for a multiple address handling for the master data in SAP business partner. So this is the new functionality which has been added a new business function they have given from the last 2021 server. If you want to use this uh, multiple address functionality in SAP SD, you need to go and activate this business function. So what happened when you activate this business function, most of the business functions, you cannot deactivate it. It's most of them are one way. You can activate it, you cannot deactivate it, right? So what happened, there are some business function which has been mentioned, which is always on the same way in S4 HANA, there are some business function which is always off. As for HANA does not support this business function, it, those business function should be always off. Now the problem can come if a always off business function, okay, if a always off business function has been activated. So this is the list, this is the SAP note 2240359 that can provide you the list of all business functions which should be always off. Or when you'll be running this maintenance planner, system would be checking what business functions you have activated it. And based on the activated business functions, do we have any business function which is which should which is on in ECC? But in S4 HANA, it is marked as always off. If that is there, one of the business function example I can give you. In ECC, we have a business function. Llama. Llama is large material. Now we have a 40 character material, right? Before that, in ECC, if you want to extend your material length, there is separate business function, which is very complicated. Llama, which is used for the automobile. Where basically we would be uh, using this llama and it would it was creating a separate tables, parallel material table it was creating to store the large material numbers. So SAP says that if you have activated this llama, if you have activated the llama, you cannot go ahead with S4 HANA. You would not be able to go ahead with S4 HANA. You need to deactivate this one. Then only you would be able to go ahead with the S4 HANA conversion. So for that, basically, if there are some business function, which is, which should be always off, but in your system is its own, 
you would be getting as a result of the maintenance planner, what you would be getting, you would be getting SAP notes. System would say that you go to note three three two three four one one six. That note would explain that if this business partner function is uh, activated, whether these can be there is a procedure or step you can manually deactivate it. So there would be some business function where it has been accidentally activated, or you have activated but you have never used. So SAP can give you some specific solution by following a procedure. You would be able to deactivate it. But there can be some business function which you are using intensively and then suddenly it is not available in S4 HANA, then you will not be able to go ahead with conversion. You will have to go with the Greenfield implementation. So that checking also it would be doing. Then it would be doing your Unicode checking. That is a code level of code, standard standardization level of code we need to adopt. Most of the uh, uh, companies have adopted in ECC itself. But if you have not been going to the Unicode system, you need to do a Unicode implementation where technically your codes need to be converted as a Unicode. So this is a technical upgrade which we need to do for the Unicode. So these things would be checked in your uh, through a maintenance planner. Thank you.